Hey gang, I'm Luke and welcome to Down From The Attic. Today we're looking at a true classic of a game, one that's been around for over 50 years and one that I'm sure most of you have played at least once. Today we're looking at Kaplunk. Let's get this thing down and have a look at it. As I said, this is a true classic of a game. Kaplunk first came out in 1967 by Ideal Games. And my parents have memories of playing this game when they were kids. I just love that, you know? Well, what I have here, in a rather battered and time-worn box, is my copy from the early 90s. But you can see from the 60s to the 90s, this game barely changed at all. The only minor difference I can see is that the middle bit is larger. But that means it can hold more marbles. Set up. And I have to say that setting up this game is part of the fun for me. The tray goes at the bottom, this cup with the hole in the side goes at the bottom on top of it, the UFO vegetable strainer thing here on top of that, and the other cup on top of that. Now you'll need to take the sticks and thread them through to another hole, and the more you add, the more crisscrosses you'll make, and I kind of find threading them into place kind of fun. Once all the sticks are in place, you'll need to add the marbles into the top. These are real glass marbles and when pouring them in, they'll all get caught up and tangled on the sticks you inserted. It can take a few pours to get every marble to stay in and not pass through, but once you're done, you're ready to play. Gameplay for this game is really as simple as it gets. You rotate the tower so the doorway faces your tray and you pick a stick and slowly draw it out of the tower. If you're lucky, well, no marbles will fall, but if you're unlucky, kerplunk, marbles will fall into your tray. All the sticks have formed a mesh holding up the marbles, and one by one, you're taking those sticks out. It's pretty impressive how many sticks it can take before anything falls. You'll hear marbles shuffling and rattling around the inside of the tower as the sticks they rest on are removed, sending them bouncing around and landing onto a lower perch. As the game goes on, there's less sticks for the marbles to rest on, and it's absolutely inevitable that marbles will fall. Sometimes it's just a couple, sometimes it's an avalanche. Although you can see through the clear plastic inside, it's never easy to discern which sticks are holding the marbles and which aren't. You'll never really know until you pull one. As the sticks thin out, the risk of sending more marbles your way greatly increases. I have seen wily players before carefully manipulate the stick while holding marbles to flick them to where other marbles are supported. It's not easy and some could argue it's cheating, but I've also seen this horribly backfire. It depends on luck. And in conclusion, really Kaplunk is mostly about luck I'd argue. How you arrange the sticks, how the marbles land after being poured in, and which stick you choose to pull. It's all luck. There's not much there in the way of skill, but it's still fun, and it feels like you're doing something really skillful. The new variant of the game isn't really much different than the classic version. There's a spiral slide where the marbles fall out, which ruins the kaplunk sound by the way, but other than that, it's exactly the same game, which shows that it was designed well to begin with. Kaplunk is a quick game and exceptionally simple to set up and explain to people which makes it very accessible. It's the sort of game to bring out at the start of a games night, you know, the introductory game, uh, or with people who aren't used to playing board games often, but that's not to say that more serious gamers wouldn't enjoy it. Um, of course it's simple, but it's, it's challenging and it's fun, you know, and who's going to object to that? Kaplunk is just a simple, fun game. And that's really all I can say about it. Well, as always, I'm Luke. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.